I'm really excited to see 6AM. I had not heard of this guy before today and already uh, destroyed Suarez um, and has made, I don't know who else he played against, but now finding himself in winner's quarters of the entire tournament, facing off against John Numbers, another New York staple. And leading into this game, I always think about how Numbers, he's gotten a lot better at killing, but sometimes he, you know, likes to play it safe. And when you play it too safe against Incineroar, that's when all of a sudden the comebacks can happen. Okay, I, didn't, I don't want to draw anyone's attention away from the game, but the player cams... Keep an eye on 6 a.m. because he's he's mad animated, coming all the way from Connecticut to show their stuff as potentially. Yo, does he have a hat players. with 6 a.m. on it? Yeah, no, he's repping himself, and that's respectable. And Cheetos. And Cheetos. Got shout outs to Cheetos, but also shout outs to John Numbers, because I always considered Numbers like the litmus test of out of state players or out of region players. How do you do against John Numbers is just kind of a baseline on how well you're going to do in New York. And right now it's not starting off super great, but it's Incineroar. And Incineroar yeah. can explode if, you find, uh, if they find the means to get within their threat range. Numbers has to be really careful about just throwing errant projectiles. Uh, I actually really like that. Went specifically. I'm, I'm actually not sure exactly why he went for the header when he did. I thought it was like trying to catch a stall, but... No, that was just... I mean, I, th I think it's fine, but it is still very risky because whenever you... Never mind! Brilliant stuff from Numbers baiting the counter so that it would actually land, and he was in the zone to actually punish it. Oh, yeah. Like, 6 a.m. and their Incineroar... Like, Incineroar can do a lot of good stuff, and the power of Incineroar in this matchup is that if John can continues to place We Fit on ledge, a very power position for her. Oh, okay. Oh, dead. Wait, 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 dead? Oh, wait a hold on. Um, deep breathing. When you got those air in your lungs, like that's a that's a lot of air. Wait, Fifty-five? No. No way. Right. Okay, so 80, 80. Wait, he went from 55 to 87? Yeah, um, volleyball is a heck of a tool, right? Or It's a heck of a drug, man. What? what? Yeah. Uh, deep breathing, volleyball, F-tilt, and then you die to 87. That's Incineroar dying GG's. at 87. <laughs> now, normally, normally you would consider, like, if John is going to play... The, the ledge game that they usually do in order to maximize Wii Fit's efficiency. Wasn't even doing that, though. Wasn't he wasn't. Even really? you, uh, this is like in theory, right? Yeah. You go on, to, on paper, you look into this, and it's like, oh, that means Incineroar has a lot of chance to two-frame, and Incineroar's two-framing is really good with things like down tilt and things like... Uh, uh, okay. The oh. thing is, like, you say, oh, you know, oh, Numbers is at the ledge, they can two-frame. I've seen Numbers beat Mr. E so many times, and think about how many two-frame resources Mr. E's characters have. Look, I'm talking, like, on paper, this seems like, oh, Incineroar can do some stuff because they can close the distance oh! pretty well. That was so brave! For those of you who don't know, that <laughs> up smash is purely invincible. And when you extend the hitbox by connecting it on the volleyball, I've some seen people just with the worst amount of, uh, what's it called, false confidence, drop incredibly early trying to challenge it. Buh, buh, buh? The F tilt. I think they extended the hurt box with F to a little bit. I, I th I'm just. I think that the hurt box shifting from uh, from 6 a.m. is what kept that F tilt from landing. Yeah, he reeled back and then swatted swatted her in her arms. But okay, the back air not enough with deep breathing. That's volleyball is. It, it helps your kill power a ton, but it's nothing. It's nothing that's going to make make you start killing at 60. Speaking of, well, I mean, not at 60, but that back air certainly going to do it. Frame yeah. four, by the way. We fit. Got some. Got some buttons that you do have to respect. The Lolan Whip not going to take it from across stage, even on Yoshi's. Now that's a hitbox with a lot of power D behind does it. Does Incineroar still take damage when uh, he gets the counter? Yeah, less damage, but damage. Oh! oh. Dead at 60? Sour spot, sour, you know, hear those air quotes. Sour spot down air. <laughs> Speaking of oh, down no. air, 6 a.m. getting a little bit impatient with hunting for these kills. And Numbers is kind of fiend on that for even as much damage. Oh. And the reset, too. This is Numbers' playground. How is he still alive? 160. We fit is not this thick. Deep breathing. Uh, re I don't know reduces if he had deep breathing there. Even so, you can sur you can survive a little bit longer with deep breathing, and it numbers reduces is just the damage you take, and so yeah. that as a result, you know, reduces the knockback. 
that zero. The face knockback of that back throw is absurd. Oh, uh -oh. Oh, 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 no. Now, now we're not calling it a comeback, but <laughs> with, that, with deep breathing online, uh, you still have to respect the amount of damage that Incineroar can do at any given moment. 141, this is a lot of rage, but that is a coverage on the neutral getup. John Numbers running up, throwing out one of these active tilts that Weefa is privy to. Things like F tilt and down tilt can just cover neutral getup so reliably. Neutral getup and also get, uh, like, jump. Like, yeah, going back too. and then jumping on, or even ledge jump. And also, yeah, look at this. So, did he willingly retreat back to ledge? No, he got hit yeah, by he, that he sun just, salutation. He was playing ledge. Forced to grab the ledge, and then... Oh, that was just um, really good timing on John's part. Yeah, like, really... Was that even a reaction? I, don't, I think it was a read, but the fact that he ran up... Like, like, look how fast he runs up here, right? Oh, okay, we gotta wait a little bit, because he gets swatted. Boof. Goes to ledge. Boop. Runs up. Yeah, it, it looked like it was a read on the neutral getup, because he started moving while the neutral getup was coming up, which, like, that, no one can react that fast. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still, it's you're putting out an active button. Yeah, and it's important to th remember that, like, sort of the reason why... You know, well, actually, it's hard to say because he started running, and keep in mind that he would have put in his input right about there, right? Right. And you are not going to roll in Wee Fit's face while she has a sun salutation right at roll distance length. 